Hey guys, so I've been playing in tanks quite a lot lately, in Battlefield 5 of course, but you already know this since you clicked on the video, and I leveled up all of them up to level 4, which is the maximum one for the vehicles in the game, at the moment at least of me recording the video, that being the 6th of January 2019, New Year, yay, it's old news, it's already a week pretty much, but whatever. I got all of the specializations unlocked, I tested multiple combinations and I'm gonna show you what are the best ones in my opinion. Before we dive into it though, I just want to clarify, in this exact video we will not be talking about anti-aircraft vehicles, because there is 7 tanks apart from the anti-aircrafts, which there is 2 of in Battlefield 5, one for each faction and there is simply not enough time in a 10 minute video to talk about 9 different vehicles and their specializations. There isn't, so I'm gonna create a separate tutorial for the anti-aircraft tanks, but that's for the future. So let's get to it, what are the best specializations for all of the tanks? We're gonna start off with the light tanks, meaning the ones that drive the fastest and have the <laughs> lowest armor or the worst armor and then we're gonna go up to the heavy tanks and the gun carrier. So yeah, first we got the Panzer 38T for the Germans. I recommend you go with the right skill tree including the pineapple range, emergency repair, improved loading mechanism and the piercing rounds. However, even though I'm gonna make a separate video or actually two videos, one of them being an advanced tank tutorial explaining all of the mechanics and how to use it properly to its maximum effectiveness, and also the second one explaining all of the best tanks in the game. I still kind of want to mention that Panzer 38T isn't really the best tank to play with in Battlefield 5, and even this skill tree, which I find to be the best one to play with, it's not really helping it much. Alright, on to the next one. We have the light tank for the allied forces. I don't even know if it's technically a tank, because it's an armored vehicle, but let's call it a light tank for the sake of this video, the best specializations. In this one, on the contrary, you should go with the left skill tree. You get an improved loading mechanism, you get the field repair, which in my book is the most crucial perk for all of the vehicles in the game to have, then you have the little Johnny, which is basically a 37mm cannon adapter, increasing the bullet, or not bullet, but the muzzle velocity at the expense of the splash damage versus the infantry or in general soft targets, but don't worry about it, splash damage sucks anyway. And then you get the tulips, which are basically a 4 60 pound rockets, effective against pretty much anything in Battlefield 5, so yeah, why would you not take it? On a side note though, Stackhound is actually a very decent tank to play with, so if you're looking for a tank to start playing with, Stackhound is a much better option than the Panzer 38T we just talked about a moment ago. But speaking of the medium tanks, we got the Panzer IV for the Germans. And with this one, I recommend you go with the skill tree that looks kind of like a snake going across the specialization skill tree. No, not funny. Anyway, you start with the Zimmerit perk on the right side, in the right upper corner, you go through the emergency repair, you put on the heavy cannon and then you end with the armor piercing rounds. Others don't make sense. And just to be clear about it, if I say that something is useless or it's not worth equipping, it is still my personal opinion, but I've tested out all of those specializations, all of the combinations, and the other ones on Panzer IV are not worth it. They're not. Alright, on to the next one. The medium tank for the Allied forces. The Valentine MK8. Now, here it is exactly the same thing, also the snake across the skill tree, but it's going into the opposite direction. We start in the left upper corner and we go to the right bottom one. We start with the emergency repairs, go through the improved loading mechanism, put on the anti-tank cannon and end it with the armor piercing rounds. Again, the other perks don't quite make sense. Although with this one, I would actually like to mention that Trax cards, the perk in the left skill tree, is actually very good. Although, if you equip it and go for the left skill tree, you end up with either case rounds or the mine clearing charges and both of those aren't that good if you compare them to anti-tank cannon 
combined with the piercing ground, so again, not really that much options here. Oh, and by the way, I feel like I should have mentioned it at the beginning, but if you go with the piercing grounds, remember to actually equip piercing grounds when you approach enemy tanks, because they do not replace the default ammunition. So yeah, just so you remember about it. Alright, on to the heavy tanks. Let's start with the Tiger 1 for the Germans. And surprise, surprise, we actually have two different combinations we could potentially go with here, and I'll show you both and explain the difference and which one I prefer personally. So the first one you're seeing on the screen right now is the one that again looks like a snake. I know it's a bad joke, but you start with the Cimmerid. You go for an improved to red rotation speed, which I find to be the most useful perk for Tiger 1 personally. You get to the reinforced red and then you end with the armor piercing rounds once again. This one is the combination I personally prefer and I recommend you use, because Tiger 1 without the improved rotation speed on the turret, it is just too slow to counter enemy infantry, like if they sneak up from the side or from the back, you're not gonna be able to turn around in time to get them before they damage you and it is quite slow to play with it this way. You could go with all left skill tree that you're seeing on the screen right now, that is Cimmerit perk, emergency repairs, which are quite useful as I mentioned already a couple tanks ago, but then again, you have to skip the improved thread rotation. Then you also get the pineapple range specialization, which makes repairs a bit more effective, but they take a bit longer, and you end it with high explosive rounds. However, once again, it is an optional skill tree, I recommend you go with the previous one, it is much better, in my not so humble opinion. Then we have the Churchill MK7, the Allied Forces heavy tank, and once again, I recommend you go with the snake kind of skill tree, same one as with the Tiger 1. So in short, you start with improved loading mechanism, you go through the improved turret rotation speed, again, very crucial perk for this vehicle, you go for the reinforced turret, similar to Tiger 1, and you end up with the armor piercing rounds. And if you're wondering about going full left skill tree with Churchill, I don't really recommend you do so, because you could get the improved loading mechanism combined with the emergency repairs, then again, you skip the improved rotation speed on the turret, you're incredibly slow, and the 95mm howitzer combined with the hash rounds, which are the only option you can go with because mine clearing charge is completely useless at the moment of me recording this video, you will be limited to around 50 meters when it comes to engaging other tanks. If you exceed above this range, you will have an incredibly hard time landing accurate shots at the enemy vehicles considering that they will be moving and your 95mm howitzer slows down the muzzle velocity so much that it really becomes a big challenge if you want to hit enemy tanks on a longer distance. That, combined with the hash rounds, it is not worth it. Most 1v1 engagements with the enemy tanks take place on a distance is longer than 50 meters, it is roughly around 100 on average, so you're gonna have a very hard time landing your shots. Even though you will have an extra high damage, it is not worth it, because if you don't land this shot, you're dead. And then we have the last tank the Churchill Gun Carrier. I personally find it to have the most interesting skill tree in the whole Battlefield 5 when it comes to vehicles, so yeah, let's take a look at the best options. I personally use this one, reinforced trucks combined with the increased ammo capacity, reinforced engine, and this is why I skipped the emergency repair, because I have both reinforced trucks and reinforced engine, and at the end, the hash rounds. Now, I just said hash rounds didn't make much sense on the Churchill MK7, if I'm correct. But with this one, first, you don't have the stupid 95mm howitzer that would limit you a lot on the Churchill MK7, and also, the damage output from the main cannon is good enough or high enough that I don't think you need armor piercing rounds on the gun carrier. Gun carrier has a higher damage output on the main cannon than the other tanks. Also, totally hypothetically, if you were to go for the armor piercing rounds, which I don't recommend you do, you would have to give up the reinforced engine. If you were to give up the reinforced engine, I would advise you to go for the emergency repairs, but you cannot have emergency repairs and armor piercing rounds equipped at the same time, which means it is not worth it. 
Alright guys, that is it for the tutorial, I hope I was able to help you out at least a bit and yeah, stay tuned for two more tutorials coming, one explaining all of the things that you should know about tanking and the other one showcasing the best tanks to go with at the moment. So yeah, as always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefield.